Maggie from HPR. Today we're gonna have a quick uh, tutorial of uh, how to install the uh, Sunpack extension kit for the RV26 oil pan. Here you see the uh, oil pan with the uh, both Sunpack extensions installed, the oil pan baffle kit and the uh, front uh, reinforced front diff cover. Uh, at first you need to uh, remove the uh, original uh, front diff cover and the front diff together with uh, all the seals uh, and bearing, bearing at the aft of the shaft here to ensure that uh, no uh, dirt or can come into, into any of these parts. The second step will be uh, cutting the extensions. Here you'll see the, uh, uh, one of the sides already cut for the, for the sump extension. You need to cut off the three tabs that are uh, pointing out here before you can use the supplied template that comes with the kit. And once those are cut off, you uh, position the template here. You mark up the insides and uh, you cut out uh, until the, uh, the base is, uh, fits inside the cavity. Note that the um, oil pan baffle kit also acts as a template to or a fixture to uh, position uh, the, uh, these weld tabs. So once the weld flanges uh, fits loosely into the hole, you can bolt, uh, bolt the tabs with threaded parts here onto the baffle kit. And now over to uh, step three, which will be the welding of uh, the flanges to the oil pan. Here you'll see we have already uh, installed the uh, weld flanges onto the uh, oil pan baffle kit that uh, works as a, as a template a fixture to hold the brackets in place before they get welded. Uh, you need to ensure that the angle is, um, is okay with the bottom of the oil pan. So you need to use something uh, and run it along the bottom of the pan and make sure the angle is correct here according to, to the bottom of the pan. Also the uh, clearance on the opposite side to the uh, diff, diff cover needs to be verified before you uh, start the welding process. This step uh, with regards of welding needs to be done by professionals and um, if you don't have experience with uh, welding uh, cast aluminum uh, we highly recommend to outsource this to someone that does. Uh, the kit comes supplied with an extra, an extra flange to be used for uh, welding. It comes also with high tensile bolts to uh, hold, uh, hold the bracket so, it, so you can throw a lot of heat, heat onto it uh, without distortion. And now over to the fourth step, which is the uh, final installation of the sump extensions and the front diff cover. As you'll see, the uh, sump extensions have uh, 10 uh, millimeter ports for uh, oil temperature or oil pressure. So you'll have uh, one port sensor on this side pointing this way and on the opposite side it will be pointing outwards. The kit comes supplied with uh, V-tone O-rings uh, and stainless steel uh, hardware. The uh, torque specifications are engraved onto the, uh, onto the uh, sump extensions for uh, the correct torque. For the uh, oil pan baffle kit uh, you need to uh, yeah, simply place it inside and uh, torque all the bolts to 10 newton meters. The torque specs are also laser engraved onto the baffle. Uh, the uh, front diff cover, uh, it's basically the, the same thing. You install the breeder cover and torque it to 7 newton meters using a thread locker. The front diff cover uh, also has a Viton O ring uh, and O ring groove in, installed, so you don't need to use RTV to the flange. Same with the uh, uh, torque specifications are uh, engraved onto, uh, onto the cover here for uh, both the fill plug, drain plug and uh, installation bolts. So here we'll see the uh, power steering cooling line on the right side, just in front of the uh, front uh, differential. This one needs to be uh, moved uh, approximately 20 millimeters forward in order for the sump extension to clear. We need to undo this bracket and bend both this line and this line a little, little bit forward to make it clear. 